the table shows some information about the foot lengths of 40 adults. So part A says we need to write down the modal class interval. So if we look at the word modal, in this context we're referring to the highest frequency. So we need to look for the highest frequency class interval. So here are all our class intervals and here are our frequencies along here. So our modal class interval is going to be this one here. So the foot length being greater than or equal to 22 and less than 24. And that's because it's got the highest frequency. So we've got 12 here, which we can see is the highest out of all of these. So we need to write down the correct class interval here in order to get the one mark. So next part B says we need to calculate an estimate for the mean foot length. Okay, so I'm going to go straight back up and we're going to do some work with the table up here. I'm actually going to add in a couple of extra columns. Okay, so the way we work out the mean from a frequency table when we've got grouped data like this is we use the midpoint. So we're going to work out the midpoint of all of these groups. And I created a column here where we're going to write them down. So to work out the midpoint, I'm going to use this group for an example. We do this number plus this number and divide by 2. So in this case, we've got 16 plus 18 divided by 2, which is 34 divided by 2, which equals 17. So that's the midpoint for this group here. Then we do the same thing for all the other groups. So now I've got another column here, which is f multiplied by x. So I'm using f here to represent the frequency. And this here is our column that is our frequency, so number of adults. So in this column, what we're going to write down is our midpoint, so we worked out here, multiplied by our frequency, so the number of adults in this column. So in this row, we're going to do 3 multiplied by 17. And the next one, we're going to do 6 multiplied by 19 and so on. So great, now we've done that, the final thing we need to fill in is our totals. So we need to write down here the total number of adults. And we could do that by adding these numbers up individually. But actually, helpfully in the question, it tells us there are 40 adults. So we add up the number of adults, we get 40. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to add up all of these numbers. And when we do that, we get 876, which I'm going to write in there. Okay, great. So now we've got all the information we need to estimate the mean foot length. So when you usually think about a mean, you think about everything added up divided by how many things there are. That's the sort of phrase you can use to think about it. And it's the same thing here. So we've got the total frequency multiplied by midpoint, so f multiplied by x divided by the total frequency, so the number of adults in this case. So we get 876 divided by 40, and popping that into the calculator, we get 21.9, which is our final answer. So writing that in the answer box here, we have 21.9 centimetres is our estimate for the mean foot length. So in this case, we get one mark uh, for working out all the numbers in this column over here. So you get one mark for our um, midpoint multiplied by frequency column. We then get another mark for realizing we need to add all those numbers up and divide it by 40, so the number of adults. And then we get our third and final mark for the correct answer of 21.9. Now, one thing I just quickly want to point out is that we're working out the estimate for the mean. And that's because we've got grouped data up here. For example, these three adults could be anywhere within this range. So all three of them could have a foot length of 16. All three of them could have a foot length of 17 or they could be a mix between 16 and 17. But we just don't know. So we've taken the midpoint and used that to work out the mean. So it's a good guess, it's a good estimate, but we don't know it's the exact mean because these adults could be anywhere within these ranges. So that's why what we've worked out is the estimate.